Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus Broadcast. we got a couple announcements today to tell you about. Pentecostal Power Ministries will be set up in Larry, Georgia, at the park there in Larry, Georgia, for their Independence Day Festival. It's going to be today, June the 26th, from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. They're going to be selling some fish plates to go toward their building fund to build their new fellowship hall. And then once you get done there in Larry, Georgia, you can head on over to Leesburg, Alabama, where What the World Needs is Jesus Ministry will be hosting a gospel singing. That's going to be today, June the 26th, from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Alabama time. The address there is 1900 Loki Street, Leesburg, Alabama, 35983. It's just right behind the fire hall there in Leesburg. Bring your lounge chairs up. Come on out and have a good time in the Lord. The next announcement is going to be for Pentecostal Power Ministries. We're going to be holding VBS, that's Vacation Bible School, July the 12th through the 16th. All school age kids are welcome to come on out. The theme is Rocky Railway. We're going to be having some crafts, some outside activities, weather permitting. Also, we're going to serve a few snacks. But more than all of this, we're going to be teaching your child a little bit about Jesus. That's going to start from 5 30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Georgia time. Now, today's message is going to come from Brother Ricky Phillips. The title of his message is God's Way or No Way. Then we're going to have a song from Rita Clardy singing, How Deep is the Sea? He's going to be preaching out of 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 13 through 15. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe, like, click the bell to turn on your notifications. Follow, like, and share us on Facebook, and check us out on Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now, let this video bless you. Amen. What a joy it is to be with you here today on What the World Needs is Jesus Broadcast. Excited to be here today. Excited to get to tell you a little bit out of the Bible today. We're going to we're gonna be in the Old Testament today. Boy, I tell you what, nothing like serving the Lord. Amen. Nothing like serving the Lord and getting your Bible down and reading a little bit out of the Bible. Boy, there's nothing like it getting off getting off and get your Bible down and just read some of the stuff that's going on in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Amen. It's just it's just exciting to me to get to read all this stuff and get to read how how Jesus lived his life, how the Old Testament people lived their lives. Amen. And the funny thing about it is it's it's it kind of goes along with the way we live today. Amen. Glory be to God. I tell you what, if you don't know Jesus today, it's our heart's desire right here at what the world needs is Jesus, that you find him somehow, somewhere, some way, that you get a hold of Jesus today before, listen, if you just go on and ask Jesus in your heart now, you'd, you'd enjoy the service. You'd enjoy the pre uh, preaching and the Bible reading. You'd enjoy all of it even more, amen. Just go ahead and bow your heart down, amen. You ain't got to get on your knees. You ain't got to go, uh, 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 you need to stop the car if you're driving, amen. Just pull over to the side of the road and bow your heart down. Ask Jesus into your heart. Glory to God, I know some folks that's going through some really hard times right now. And you know what they said? The first thing they do is start bowing their hearts down to Jesus, amen. And, and listen, he'll comfort you, glory to God, if you're going through something that's, that's hard to go through. Jesus will comfort you, amen. Whenever he went away, he said, when I go away, I'm going to leave you a comforter, amen. You know what that comforter is? That's the Holy Ghost of God, glory to God. And he left that comforter for us. Amen, that whenever we're having hardships and hard times, amen, that he'll be there for us. He'll be there for us, and all we have to do is call on him. All we have to do is call on the name of Jesus, and he's right there, amen. Glory be to God. If you got your Bibles today, and I know you do, amen, I know you got them, so, so get them out, and we're going to go to uh, 2 Samuel, and we're going to start in chapter 6. And we're going to start in verse 13, amen, 2 Samuel chapter 6 and 13, and the Bible says, and it was so that when they had, that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. 
and David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. Amen. In other words, they was all excited. Amen. They was all excited and shouting and playing music. And they had come to the gates of Israel there of, of uh, Jerusalem and they were so excited and David was excited and, and he danced before the Lord. Amen. You know what? I believe he, he, whenever he got to that gate, amen, he decided he was about to dance before the Lord. Amen. I believe he took that big crown off because David was the king. Amen. He took that crown off. Amen. He took off that big robe, that big purple robe they wear. Amen. He took off all that stuff that made him the king, glory to God. He just got rid of all that stuff and he got down to the bare essentials. Amen. And then he started dancing before the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we need to do that ourselves today. Sometimes we need to get rid of some things so that we can get so we can get to where we can dance before the Lord, amen, with all of our might, not just a little bit, but with all of our might. David danced before the Lord with all of his might, amen, glory. I can just imagine what that looks like. But let me tell you something else. Sometimes to get to that point, to where we can dance before the Lord, we have to go through a few things, amen. Sometimes we have to go through some stuff to get us to that point, amen, some things that we don't really want to go through, but sometimes we have to go through them. If you'll go back and start in verse uh, 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 chapter 6, in verse, in verse 1, David again gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000, and David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baal to Judah to bring up, the, to bring up from thence the ark of God, whose name is called by the name of the Lord, of hosts that dwelleth between the cherubims. And they set the ark of God upon a new cart. Amen. In other words, they took them, they took them, uh, uh, the ark of God. They went to get the ark of God. David's decided that he's going to go get the ark of God. That's the only thing that they need in Jerusalem to, to kind of finish things off. He's made the king of Jerusalem. He's made king of Israel. Amen. And, and so they want the ark of God brought to Jerusalem because that's the way, uh, that's what would finish off all the good things there in Jerusalem. Uh, uh, David would be the king and he would have the ark because the Philistines took the ark from him. Amen. The Philistines took the ark from him. Amen. But David's going to get it. Amen. He says, I'm going to go back and get it. Amen. I've done made king everywhere, and now I want that ark of God with me. It, it's uh, uh, the ark with the cherubims on it. Amen. And they set out to get the ark. Well, they go by and get, they go, go, go by and buy them a brand new cart. Amen. They go get them a brand, they go down here at the Lowe's and get them a brand new cart. Amen. Ah, listen, they didn't go to Lowe's. I'm just saying that. But that's what I, uh, uh, you think about sometimes. You think, well, they're, they're going to go down there and get a brand new car. They meant brand new wheels, brand new floor, brand new everything. It's brand new because they're going to they're going to carry the ark of God in there, and they want to they want to say, hey, we're carrying the ark of God, so we're going to carry it on a brand new car. Amen. So they go get them a brand new car. Glory be to God. They and they bring that car up there and at that that. Uh, uh, at the man's house that it was in, Abinadab. They bring it up there and they put the card, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, ark of God, and they put it on that card. And here they go. They take off with that ark. Amen. How many of us knows we're supposed to be obedient to the Lord? Amen. We're supposed to be obedient to God. And if he's put something in the Bible that we're supposed to do, then we're supposed to do that. Amen. David and them come and got the ark of the ark of God, and they put it on a new cart, and they're rolling up through there, and they come up on this place, and they came to Nacon's threshing floor, and Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. In other words, in other words, they was pulling it up through there, and they got a little they got a little crooked there with it and the ark swayed a little bit and Uzzah put his hand up there to catch it from keeping uh, that's what we'd all do wouldn't it amen if we was walking beside the ark of God and it was about to fall or it was tilting over first thing we'd do would put our hand up there and catch it amen and that's what Uzzah did he put his hand up there to catch it amen 
And God killed him just like that. It took his life, amen, because the Bible says nobody can touch the ark. The Bible says nobody can touch the ark, amen. When it was in the hands of the Philistines, some of the Philistines went over there and opened the ark up. They didn't only touch it, they opened it up, amen. And God killed a bunch of them, glory to God. He killed a whole bunch of them. Killed them dead because they didn't, they're not supposed to touch the ark, amen. That was the, that was the thing that goes along with the ark of God, amen. Sometimes we get ourselves in a mess because, because we go off and do things our way, the way we want to do it, the way we, we, we go, we, we have respect and we, uh, and we say, well, I'm going to go buy a new cart. I'm going to go buy a new cart and I'm going to get this ark of, uh, uh, ark of God because I'm going to get a new cart and it's going to be okay that I went and got it like that. But that ain't what the Bible says. That ain't what God told them, amen? Uh, uh, listen, they forgot to go to the word of God before they went to get the car, uh, before they went to get the ark. Listen, we got to go to the word of God in whatever's going on in our situation, whatever's going on in our life. We need to go to the word of God first before we go get a brand new cart down at the Lowe's and go try to pick up the ark of God, amen. We need to get in this Bible. And, and listen, that's what it's for. It tells us how we're supposed to live. It tells us what to do, when to do it, how to do it, where to do it. It tells us the past, it tells us the day right now, and it tells us the future. What more could you want, amen? We have to read it, though. We have to get in there and read it. Listen, listen, they throwed their Bibles down. David and them throwed their Bibles down. They didn't read their Bible. They throwed it down, and they was going to go get the ark of God, and they was going to do it their way, amen? And that's what they did, and it costed this man his life. It costed this man his life. Boy, and it made David mad. David was angry. The Bible says David was displeased because the Lord had made a branch upon, breach upon Uzzah, and he called the name of the place Perezus to this day. Boy, I tell you what, David got mad. David got mad, and he, and he took that ark, and instead of carrying it on to Jerusalem, he carried it on to somebody else's house because he was mad because because God had struck us a dead. And I understand that God, uh, uh, they was trying to do, they was trying to do good. They was trying to do good. But you still got to go, listen, this word of God is serious. This word of God is very serious. And we have to go by God. We have to go by the laws. We have to go by what he says. Amen. Because he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the one that has the plan, not us. We don't do it our way. This ain't, this ain't Burger King. You don't get it your way. Amen. We do it God's way. Amen. Even the, even the king, even King David, a man after God's own heart. Listen, he messes up sometimes. He thinks he can do it his way sometimes. Amen. But we can't do it our way. We have to do it God's way. Us have erred more than just, just a reflex from catching the ark, trying to catch the ark, because his actions was based upon a, 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 a critical era of thinking, amen? They didn't think this thing through, glory to God. They didn't think it through. They went and got the ark. All they could think about was going and getting that ark. We're going to go get the ark of God. Amen. They didn't read. Uh, uh, they didn't take. They didn't read their word. They didn't take their word. Amen. Us erred in thinking. It didn't matter who carried the ark. See the ark that God tells us that, uh, back in uh, uh, Numbers and and some of the other books. He tells how to carry that ark. Amen. And only Levites was allowed to carry the ark. But they didn't think. Amen. They didn't think it mattered who carried the ark. They didn't think. It didn't matter who the ark was, uh, was carried by. Then they didn't think of how the ark was supposed to be carried, amen? The Bible tells us back in uh, Numbers, back in the Old Testament, there's rings on each corner of it, and they have staffs that they stuck through the rings, and they carried the thing up on their shoulders, amen? Didn't have anything to do with the cart. Even though the cart was new, even though they had went out and purchased a new cart, uh, 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 listen, uh, this day and time, we go out and buy brand new stuff thinking that we're going to do good like that. But if it's, if it's against what the Bible says, we're backing up. Amen. We're going the wrong way. Glory to God. 
so they had they didn't they didn't even carry the ark right. The Arid in thinking he knew all about the ark because it was in his father's house for so long. He erred in thinking that God couldn't take care of the ark himself. Amen. God is a mighty, awesome, big God. He saw no difference between the ark and any other valuable article. Listen, they was going to, they was just going to run down there and grab that ark and take off. They bought him a new cart. Listen, we think because we go buy new stuff and we go do this and we go do that, we can do it our way. But if the Bible says put rings and put the staffs through the rings and carry it with the staff, then that's what we need to do. Amen. This Bible is so serious. This Bible is so serious that we overlook things and we do things that we think we know to do. Amen. But David and them done it like that. They done it their way and it didn't work. Amen. Made David mad, and he sent it to another man's house. Amen. They come and told him after three months, they said, Boy, this man, before we left the ark of God, that man's being blessed hand over fist. Amen. He's, he's growing bigger corn cobs than anybody else. Amen. His potatoes are way bigger than everybody else's. Glory to God. David started to think. Amen. David started to think, and he realized he realized that they went and got the ark, but they went and got it in the wrong way. They went and got it their way. They didn't take the word. They didn't get in the word and find out how they're supposed to carry it. They just run and got it. Amen. Listen, we can't do that today. We can't even do that today. Whenever we get in this Bible, this is serious stuff. We need to get in our Bibles and we need to read our Bibles and we need to make sure that we understand and God will tell you. God will help you to understand. Amen. He will help you to understand if you'll ask him and you'll get in there and read your Bible. Amen. Whenever they done it right, whenever they went and carried it back right, that's whenever they wound up over here and David was dancing before the Lord. Amen. That's whenever David took off all that big kingdom ship, all the crown and all that, and he danced before the Lord with all his might because he knew that he had messed up and he knew that he needed get back with God amen so he went back and got the ark and he carried it the right way amen he carried it the right way that's what we need to do today amen we need to get with Jesus and and we need to go the right way amen and if we get veered off and if we and if we go buy a new cart to carry the ark on and it don't work then look we got it we got to change it we got to change things amen we got to figure out when it don't work then we need to change it amen Go get our Bibles and it'll work the first time. Glory to God. If we'll get our Bibles and read our Bibles, listen, whenever we get saved, if we'll get in there and start reading our Bible, you can't get saved today and go back out in the world and live a, live a life that you used to live. Amen. You have to change that. Amen. And the way you change that is through this Bible right here. You start reading the Bible. Amen. Glory to God. And the, the, the pages will start coming out to you, amen. The stories of Jesus will start coming out. Glory be to God. David danced before the Lord whenever he done it right. He, he danced before the Lord with all his might, amen. Glory be to God. I tell you what, if you, if you don't know Jesus today, it's our heart's desire that you find him somewhere, somehow. You get a hold of Jesus today and watch him change your life, amen. Don't, don't come to Jesus with a new cart, amen. Because he don't want a new car. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He don't change uh, uh, because they had a, uh, because the, uh, it was King David and he had a, a new car. That didn't make no, that didn't change anything. God said, you got to carry it this way. Amen. And if you don't, then you pay the price. You pay the price. You pay the consequences. Amen. So that's what we need to do today. We need to do it God's way. And to do it God's way, we need to know this Bible. We need to know the Bible, amen? We need to get it in our hearts, glory to God, before they get took away from us. Praise the Lord, amen? If you have a prayer request, you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. You can call or text Brother Rick Phillips, 256-630-1262. Brother Larry Moss, 256-603-0641. Uh, Brother Kenneth Crane, 256-557-2858, or Brother Harold O'Neill, 256-475-5854.
any of these any of these guys would be so glad to, to talk with you, to help you whatever they can, to go over the Bible with you. Listen, you can call and and they'll they'll uh, let you they'll lead you to Jesus. Amen. They'll lead you to Jesus. Glory be to God. You can email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. Amen. Oh, how sweet the words The child you've been forgiven He spoke to my soul The night I knelt in prayer It's hard to believe he would take my tattered garment and give me a robe of solid white to wear. How deep is the sea where my sins have all been buried? I don't want to be reminded of the one I was before. What God has forgiven, He has also forgotten, and they'll never be remembered against me anymore. My mind can hardly fathom this world's vast dimension. Time and space has always marveled me. So I could not start to guess how far the east is from the west. But that for my sins have been removed from me. How deep is the sea where my sins have all been buried? I don't want to be reminded of the one. I was before. What God hath forgiven, He has also forgotten, and they'll never be remembered against me anymore. No, I can't help but wonder. How deep is that sea 